Okay, we have question 13. Find limit of sine x over e to the x minus 1 when x approaches 0. If you start to substitute for 0, sine 0 over e to the 0 minus 1, sine 0 is 0, and e to the 0 is 1, minus 1 is 0. So it would be 0 over 0. That's undefined. So we're going to follow L'Hopital uh, rule. I remind you, L'Hopital rule, which is the limit of f of x over g of x. When x approaches 0, it will be the same when x approaches 0 of the first derivative at the top, first derivative at the bottom, and continue, second derivative, third derivative, continue till end derivative. Let's apply that here. So the derivative of sine x will be cosine x, and derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Derivative of negative 1 is 0. Now it's good to substitute. If we substitute for 0, will be cosine 0 over e to the 0. 0 power. Cosine 0 is 1. And e to the 0 is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. The answer is A. That's question 13. Now we have question 14. <clears throat> a particle moves along a straight line. You must have a question like that. A particle moves, an object moves. Always you have that in uh, AP calculus test. Maybe a couple questions. One in multiple choice and one in free response question. And they connect acceleration with velocity with position. You better study that very well to score better. A particle moves along a straight line so that always they mention the time or most of the time. Uh, if you start from zero, then the time is positive after that. Uh, you never have negative uh, time. Its acceleration is given by a of t equals 12t at time t equals zero. Now they give us like some information. They give us acceleration equation and some information about velocity at time zero velocity is two and position is five which of the following expression for the position of the particle at time t is greater than or equal zero so let's start copy the equation a of t equals 12 t and we need to find the velocity to find the velocity we must integrate acceleration. We must integrate 12t. So v of t will be the integration of 12t. So keep 12, add 1 to the power here will be 2t squared over 2. Then cancel 12 was 2. Then v of 2 equals v of t. v of t equals 6t squared plus constant when you integrate that plus constant that's equation one so v of t equals 6 t squared plus c we want to find what is c what is c how to get that okay we have information about that we have information about the velocity in a specific time during a specific time the velocity is 2 when the time is 0, so you plug it in 0 for the time, 0 squared times 6, which is 0, plus c, which is c, equals v of t, the, the velocity at that time is 2. So c equals 2. You're going to take 2 back here and plug it in here. So the equation of velocity will be 6t squared plus 2. Great. Excellent. Now... We're going to go back, so we went back from acceleration to velocity. Now we need to go back to position. Position, usually denoted as x of t or s of t. Some books can make it s of t, s of t. I prefer s because it has three dimensions, x, y, and z. But anyway, if you want to find the position, s of t, you must integrate the velocity. You must integrate v of t. 
So to find the position, integrate 6t squared plus 2 with respect to the time. So let's integrate that. So 6t uh, increase the, the power by 1 will be uh, 3. 6t uh, to the exponent 3 divided by 3. Then 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2t two to the third. Plus integration of 2 with respect to t, it will be 2t. It will be 2t. Plus another constant that was constant one this is constant two you could make it k it doesn't matter s of t and we want to get the constant c so we could know which uh, equation that we have here we have information it will help us to find that that the position of the particle at time uh, at time zero is 5. So you're going to substitute for 0 here. 2 times 0 is 0. And here is 0 squared is 0. C to left equals what? S of t, which is 5. It's given. And then you're going to take 5 and plug it in back here. So the final equation will be S of t, the position, equals 2t cubed plus 2t plus the constant c, which is 5. So the answer for this question is D.